Now that we've seen how to use Python to retrieve HTML content, let's write a small application to scrape a screen and retrieve some useful information from web pages. For this demonstration, we're going to retrieve stock quotes from the Google Finance stock pages. To do that, we're going to have to retrieve the content from the page, look through the content to find the place where the stock quote is placed, and then retrieve it using a regular expression because there's no easier way to find the stock quote other than to use a regular expression to do so. To demonstrate what that's going to look like, I've downloaded the page already. Let me bring it up so you can see it. And I've highlighted, here's where the stock quote is. It's not the only place, but it's the best place. And so what we have to do is, because we don't know what the price is, we're going to have to find some sort of text that we can use as an anchor to retrieve the stock quote. This piece right here, the span ID element, is universal through all stock quotes. So we can use that as our base to find the stock quote for any particular stock symbol. All right, so let's go ahead and begin writing the script. So we're going to call this script getquote.py. Screen right up here where you can see it. So our first step will be to import some libraries. We need URL LIB. We need RE for regular expressions. And we're going to retrieve the stock symbol from the command line. So we need the sys library so that we can get command line arguments. In fact, that's the first thing we're going to do is retrieve the symbol from the command line. And that's going to be stored in the system array position one. So that's the first step. The next step is to create our URL variable. We're going to be using a query string. So we write finance.google.com and then slash finance and then question mark. And then our query string begins with the Q equals for a quote. And then we're going to add the symbol to the end of that when we actually retrieve the content. We'll see how that works here in the next line. So our content is retrieved by using the URL open function, combining the URL variable and the symbol variable. And then we read that into the variable content. Now we're ready to write the regular expression. We're going to do a match. So we use M, although we didn't have to use M, but M is frequently used to represent the return of a match. And then our argument is going to be the regular expression that we're going to search for. And that includes span ID equals ref. That is the consistent throughout all the different stock quotes. And at this point, it could be anything after that. So we'll use a period star followed by the close bracket for that span ID element. Then this next part represents the stock price itself, followed by the opening bracket for the next element, which comes right after the stock price. And of course, we're searching for that inside the content variable, so we use that as the second argument. The next piece is to get the quote. So if we have a match, then the quote is equal to what we find in the second group, or group sub 1, of our match object. Otherwise, we're just going to write a simple string, no quote for symbol, whatever symbol we search for. And then at that point, we're ready to print it out. So we'll just write print quote, and that should display the stock quote for a legitimate stock symbol. So to go over the script one more time before we demonstrate how it works, we import the libraries that we need. We get the stock symbol from the command line. We set up the URL that we're going to download. Then we actually download it by combining the URL with the symbol and the read function from URL open, which goes into the content variable. Then we search for the location of the stock quote by looking for the element span ID equals ref. And then in the second grouping will be where the actual stock price is. Then if our match is successful, retrieve what's in that group, store it in the variable quote. Otherwise, store a error message in quote and then print the result. So let's save it and give it a shot. We'll look for 3M first. And it says that the current stock price is 83.37. Let's try a couple more. We'll do IBM. 
IBM, so 182.54. And then finally, Apple, which is AAPL, and their current price is 422.40. So let me pull the script up again. Screen scraping just involves determining what you want to retrieve from a web page and then going through a little bit of legwork to figure out how to get that data out of the page and then writing the script to do that. Here we've seen an example of how to scrape screens in order to retrieve stock quotes, but we could do it for lots of other things. So that completes this demonstration and we're ready to move on to the next demonstration where we're going to demonstrate how to crawl the web through a program that will travel some or all of the links stored in a web page. And we'll see that in the next lesson.